welcome to your next episode of Cooking with Nicole. Today we are going to do a crock pot recipe um, called Ranch Pork Chops. Um, great, super easy. You could even do this the night before. Put it all together, put the crock in the refrigerator before you leave for work. You can take the crock out, pop it into the heating component of your crock pot, turn it on low, and you can cook this gently for about five to seven hours. You come home and you've got a fabulous main course ready to go for your day. So what I have here is um, four to six, uh, four ounce pork chops. I believe I have six of them. This recipe then is then going to make six servings. Um, I'm using the three fourths inch boneless pork chops. You can use uh, bone in pork chops. Sometimes they cook faster because of the bone, the bone heats hotter, um, and then it can overcook the meat. And so I would prefer that you use a boneless pork chop. You get more bang for your buck too because you're getting more of the meat, more protein for this recipe. So we have the pork chops. Um, then we're going to be using some white cooking wine. You can pick up white cooking wine in the grocery store. Who knew, right? Um, this has a great flavor. It has a great white wine uh, aroma about it, um, but uh, super tasty. Of course, the alcohol is going to cook out of it. It's just there to add a background flavor. We're using a half a cup of this white cooking wine. If you can't find white cooking wine, you could use a drier white wine that you may use to just drink anyway as part of the recipe. And we have one packet of Hidden Valley Ranch Dip Mix. You can also use the ranch dressing mix either way. Um, we've got our seasonings of pepper, some salt, and onion uh, flake. Uh, and then we have a can of the cream of mushroom soup. This one just happens to have the garlic with it. You don't necessarily have to use that one. You can play, use a plain old uh, cream of mushroom soup, a can of cream of chicken soup, and then four ounces of softened cream cheese. So what we're gonna do, I have my crock pot on and I've already sprayed the inside with a little bit of spray olive oil so that the meat doesn't stick to the bottom of the crock. And we're going to place our pork chops into the bottom and we wanna to try to keep them in a single layer if you possibly can, just to ensure even cooking. And it doesn't matter if they're touching sides, but you just basically want to make sure that they're not laying on top of each other. And you might have to do a little wiggling to make this happen, but you'll get it all crammed in there. And of course, they're going to shrink down as the cooking process happens as well. And perfect. We have all six of our pork chops in there nicely arranged. Now I'm just going to sprinkle my Hidden Valley Ranch Dip Mix on the top. This is going to give a nice flavor as it cooks down. I'm going to season it with some pepper. You always want to season your food. You know, that's what brings the flavor about and, and the enjoyment. You know, again, there's such a, um, a thought that low carb or keto cooking doesn't taste the same as traditional cooking. And that is so not true. Uh, I find low carbon keto cooking just as delicious as if you were making a traditionally made meal or a higher carb meal. Basically all we're doing is we're just reducing the amount of carbohydrates and sugars that are coming uh, with those traditional foods that unfortunately make them not as healthy for us. And carbs and sugars are highly inflammatory. And so sometimes when you suffer from an inflammatory disease process like arthritis, diabetes, heart disease, and you're actually making those disease processes um, worse by eating those types of foods. And so if you're wanting to eat in a healthier manner so that you can um, feel better in general, it's simply just reducing the amount of carbohydrates and sugars and the food is gonna taste just as equally as amazing. Now I'm going to add my four ounces of softened cream cheese. And then our can of cream of chicken soup. And 
and our can of cream of mushroom soup. Now, if you want to make this so that the it all kind of um, combines together and you want to put it in a bowl and stir it all together because you're concerned that the ingredients aren't going to incorporate well, by all means, no right or wrong uh, with that. You certainly can do so if you would like to do. Um, I have my crock pot set on high right now um, because I'm hoping to have this done in time for supper tonight in about four hours. And then finally, our half a cup of white cooking wine. There we go. We're gonna put the lid on this and we're gonna set it and we're gonna forget it. Um, if you want, you can certainly go halfway through and stir the ingredients together a little bit, but everything will incorporate nicely and it's gonna create such an awesome, amazing sauce and gravy that you can put on the top of maybe some uh, cauliflower, mashed cauliflower potatoes or some riced cauliflower. You could serve this with uh, some steamed broccoli or asparagus or Brussels sprouts to make it that full meal deal. This recipe, like I said, is one pork chop out of the six. It is approximately 323 calories, 10 grams of carbohydrate, and about uh, 30 grams of protein. I will post the recipe or the nutrition facts information um, for you so that you have the most accurate information with the video at the end of this post. I hope you have a great afternoon, everyone, and we'll see you soon.